So we're now going to talk about infectious disease and these long answer questions can be a tri bit tricky. And when I first look at this question, discuss the cause, transmission and social implications of AIDS, I was like, oh my god, it's one of the hardest ones there is. It's actually not. It's actually one of the easier ones. And the reason why is because it breaks it down for you. You talk about the cause, talk about the transmission, talk about the social implications. And altogether you're looking for about eight points. Okay? So, let's talk about the cause. Really simple. Cause, what is it? Caused by HIV, or human in immunodeficiency virus. And we should write that out. Okay? Caused by the human immunodeficiency virus. And what does it do? So HIV, it targets the T lymphocytes. Reduces their number. And reduces immunity altogether. Reduces immunity in general. So these two points probably could actually like stick together. Because um, you know how usually I do one point equals, or, or one line equals one point. Um, so the next thing is that if that reduces immunity, what is AIDS? AIDS is Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. And what that means is that once you've had HIV for a long time, then as you progress and you get worse and worse, then you finally get AIDS at the end. So let's talk about that. So it's this particular name and is the and is a late manifestation of the disease. Okay? And this means other illnesses affect the individual more. Okay, good. So that's about the causes. And we've got like one, two, three, four, five points here. So um, what they'll usually do is they'll, they'll give you a maximum number of marks that you can get for a particular section. So this one might be three to four marks. You know, each one might be three to four marks for a total of about eight to nine. Okay, so let's talk about the transmission. And there's not actually that much to talk about the transmission. Um, so transmission via blood products. Sexual fluids, tattoos, etc. And I suppose the only thing you can talk about transmission there is that um, if you use condoms during sexual um, activity, then you can prevent um, transmission transmission via that particular mode. Can be prevented sexually by using condoms. Good. Okay, so the final thing we need to talk about, because there's only a couple of things for transmission, so it's a bit difficult to get more. Um, I think we have a few other uh, points that, that are there, but they're very like obscure and it's hard to remember them. So we'll jump straight to social implications. So with the social implications, um, the important thing is that, uh, you know, that you have discrimination against individuals. Because, you know, if someone has um, AIDS, then obviously no one really wants to be around them because they have um, an increased chance of being passed on to them, I guess, even though it's relatively low as long as you're sensible. And the economic impact of that is that you have um, disruption to the economy. So, disruption to the 
economy. And you can also have decreased reproduction because, I mean, sexual activity is one of the ways to transfer it. So if you transmit it via re sexual reproduction and people stop having sex, then bam, then not many people will be getting HIV anymore. But the pro problem with that is that you have a decreased population size or decreased birth rate. So lots of these economic activities um, can be affected as well. And I suppose the final thing is that um, with the, the social implication of AIDS is that it's really, it really tends to be a, uh, a disease which really affects the poorer countries more. And that's because it's, the, and that's not because the, uh, the, the richer nations um, have more, uh, don't have HIV rather. It's because that the, the HIV which is in the richer nations uh, are controlled well. So I guess there is, is this, there is this onus on the richer countries to help out the poorer countries. And I mean, that's exactly one of the points which makes um, biology, like so, IB biology anyway, so difficult because you have these random points at the bottom. So the bottom line is, the more that you expand, the quicker you write, the more that you expand, the more likely marks that you'll get, okay? So just to quickly summarize, we've got two points here down there for transmission um, and another four points here for social implications. But remember, there's probably a maximum of about three marks for each one. So maximum of three, we've done five points, so we've got three there. We've got two out of three here, and we've got three at the bottom. So we will get our eight marks, hopefully. But um, it's yeah, it can be a bit tricky sometimes, kind of. Next question, very easy question, but I thought we'd run through it anyway because it's something completely different. Uh, well, not completely different, but uh, different from HIV. So different this types of organism apart from bacteria that can cause disease in humans. And straight away, we talked about HIV, which is human immunodeficiency virus. So you just need to talk about list different types. So we're looking for about four to five points here. So one of them is viruses. Okay. Another thing is protozoa. So there's this uh, protozoa called, uh, which causes a leishmaniasis. It's like this little bug that gets into, your, not really bug, but little um, uh, protozoa that gets into your um, skin if you go to South America and can be quite, quite painful. So people can also get uh, caused by fungi. So if you have like ever had tinea or athlete's foot, that's caused by fungi as well. And some of the weird things, so say if you go to uh, places where the food is really poorly prepared, I know that there's this, um, that sometimes there's this like worm that can get into pork and if you eat that then it goes into your tummy and it actually invades your brain and you can get like epilepsy from that, scary stuff. But anyway, so the two ones, so think of flat worms as well as round worms, okay? So there are five marks there. Very simple questions, but I thought we'd uh, finish off the day with a simple question, okay? There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out. Just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions, as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high-level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks.